Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Keisha with Zazie K Creations and I'm here to continue sharing with you my beginner's sewing journey. So I want to thank any of my um, new viewers for tuning in to this video today. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you also for coming back and um, continuing on this journey with me as I share with you where I am in my sewing journey and where I'm headed. Um, I want to give a special thanks to Martika J Makes who did a nice Butterick pattern haul some time ago because it was from her video that I was inspired to go out and purchase some fast and easy sewing patterns by Butterick. I didn't have many Butterick patterns in my um, in my uh, fabric, my uh, pattern tote, but um, after watching her video, I went ahead and purchased a couple of the uh, patterns that she recommended as being fast and easy. I also want to give a thanks to Rochelle Handmade Designs because it was her IG post that alerted me that Joann's was having this fabulous sale on their Butterick patterns that were um, all $1.99. So I was able to go ahead and, and get um, some great deals on some patterns. So uh, this video, I'm also going to talk a little bit about just or show you all some things I purchased from uh, Joann's as I continue working on my... Um, March sewing plans. So that's what I'll talk about in today's video. And I hope that you enjoy it. If at the end you do enjoy what you've heard and seen, please like this video and please consider subscribing so that you will always be in the know on my videos and know where I am in my sewing journey. So I'm going to begin with going over some of the um, items I purchased from Joann's um, during the sale. They had a really decent sale recently, really great sale. Um, I actually went only for the Butterick patterns and I also went in to get some fabric for one of my Sew Academy courses I'm still working on. However, <laughs> jo um, Joanne Fabrics also had a really great sale on all notions. They had uh, buy three notions, you get three free. They had um, a sale on thread as well. Buy three threads, get three free. So it's always great to stock up when you find that Joann's have these sales. That way you will always just have what you need. And there were some things I had been wanting to get um, in my supplies that I just had not gotten a chance to get. So I took that opportunity to make sure I got the things I needed so I can you know, keep my supply where it need to be. So the first thing I'll show you all are um, the fat quarters. I purchased some fat quarters. These are the items that I'm going to be using, by the way, to continue my Sew It Academy courses or the, or the course I'm working on now. So I purchased these really nice fat quarters. I, I purchased two of each. So there's this one here. It's just a little peace sign. Another little peace sign here. You can see that. And these cute little owls. Again, they're just simple fat quarters. And these little cupcakes here. So I'm not going to share in this video what I'm making. I will show that in a later video or in a later um, Instagram post. However, I am making something for my girls. Um, I am going to let them decide which patterns or which um, fabric choices they want um, me to use as I work on their special project. So I'll just keep that kind of as a little quiet right now. So to go along with that project, I needed to have these 14 inch zippers. So I purchased some uh, 14 inch zippers. And I actually purchased, uh, I purchased three white ones and I purchased, I think two blues. I think this blue was slightly lighter than the other, but yeah, I purchased some zippers to go along with that special project with my Sewit Academy course. Um, I only need maybe four, but you can probably never have enough zippers, especially as a beginner, as I'm practicing and, and learning some things. I wanted to make sure I had some zippers um, in stock and, and ready to go whenever I needed them. 
And not just that, I mean, if I start to lose my sojo, I know I can always kind of just go in, work on a zippered clutch or something just to kind of keep me moving in my sewing journey. So I did purchase those zippers. And I bought some, uh, this is just regular cotton, cotton fabric that I'll need as a liner for that uh, Sew It Academy course. And I got them in these pretty colors here. Just purple, this little, it's like a coral or a peach color. And then there's this pretty yellow. I'm telling you guys, I have really been drawn to yellow since the weather started breaking. I think yellow is going to be my color for the spring and summer because I, I just, my eyes always catch it every time I'm looking for fabric and things of that nature. So yeah, I'm going to be using these liners to go along with some of these um, fat quarters here. So I thought maybe the coral one would look nice with this one here, just so you can kind of see it together. Cute little liner. And I thought maybe the purple would look nice with this one here. If you can see that. And I thought this yellow would look nice here. It's not the exact shade of yellow. This is a little more, this is a little darker. It's like a mustard, but it's yellow. It'll work. And if all else fails, I have white um, fabric I can use as well. Uh, and I think I purchased about uh a half a yard or maybe a quarter it looks like this might be a half a yard so i purchased a half a yard of this only because it's a basic cotton liner you can always use a liner fabric for any never just you never know when you might need to have a liner for any of your projects so you know i'll have these colors in my stash um so i'm gonna put these to the side and just so you'll know fat quarters are really good for like a small project um i've used them before to make some clutches um and i've used them for some sunglass cases i use uh, fat quarters for those as well so if you don't want to go out and purchase like a whole lot of fabric consider purchasing a fat quarter they're really inexpensive uh, i forgot how much i paid for these but sometimes they're on sale like you can get 10 for 10 dollars um really good you know good buys and it's always nice just to have a stash of them. You just never know when you might need to use them. They might come in handy. So those are the uh, fat quarters, the zippers, um, the, the liner. So I also need to have some fusible interface. So I did purchase fusible interface. I again need to have these for my uh, Sewit Academy special projects. So I'm gonna be using these. These are also on sale. Um, they were part of the buy three notions, get three free. So you'll see, I got some other stuff here I'll share in a moment. But yeah, I purchased these interfacings. Um, I, I heard another sewist, another YouTuber say that you should really just have um, interface, you know, handy because once you start sewing a lot, you're going to find that you'll need interface a lot. So I did have a stash that I had cut off of, um, a bolt some time ago, um, but I did go ahead and just purchase this because I wasn't sure if whether whether or not the interfacing I already have will work for um, what I need to do for my special project. So this might be slightly thinner or it could be thicker. I don't know, but either way, I've got this interface. I'll probably need it at some point in time if I don't use it for this project and that's okay. Um, I'll just keep, I'll just have a, a, a stash of interface, which I'm sure I'll need for later projects or future projects. So um, I also purchased, so I purchased this nice uh, lightweight rotary cutter. I have a small, I have one like this already, but what I'm noticing is that I should at least have two of this size, one to keep on my um, sewing machine table, which is behind me, and then one right here with me on my cutting table so that I'm not moving back and forth trying to get to my rotary cutter when I need to cut those small sections of fabric or when I'm trying to work on my circles. I noticed um, working on circles, I could not use my bigger rotary cutter so I had to get a smaller one and I had to keep going back and forth between my table and my uh, my cutting table and my sewing machine table and it was 
pretty much like a nuisance they had to keep going back and forth so went ahead and purchased a second one so i always have one here and i always have one there and i know i needed to have some uh blades so they get dull pretty quickly so i did purchase a pack of blades to keep them nice and sharp uh what's some marking tools so when i started sewing i purchased um just like regular marking pencils and I find they don't show up really well on fabric. Um, I still have them, but they just don't work as well as I would like them to. So I found that I like using these pens much better. Their um, one end is air soluble. So I think over time, the air it will just disappear. And then the other end um, is water soluble. So you have to wash your item or wash your garment and then the marking will come off of it so i because i like these i will probably keep these keep a stash so that I'll, i'm never out i always have my marking tools um i only had one of these and i'm actually using it right now so before it runs out i thought i'd purchase these um, two other ones just to have handy and ready to go and um, I don't know who recommended this, but it may have been a, a Mimi G video I watched. I don't remember, but there's also this Choco liner pen. Um, I had this for a while and I just opened it to use it as I was working on my, um, curves my concave and convex curves and i absolutely love this it's really nice it's just a regular um it's a chalk pen basically so in here is loose chalk and as you mark your um your fabric it shows up really really nicely and it wipes off very very clean now these are pricey i did have one and i did not want my chalk to run out on me and i not have one so I do have one here as a uh, backup for when the other one is um, it has run out of chalk. So I think you can refill this. I'm not sure. It says easy replacement. So it looks like I can probably go online and purchase a replacement valve here, I guess. when I, I'll figure that out once I start to get low and I'll um, see what I need to do to make sure I have um, enough on stock. Uh... A seam gauge, pretty straightforward. This is also a really nice tool to have. I have one. I actually have two seam gauges. Um, one is getting pretty bent for some reason. Um, just the basic black one. It's just it's not flat anymore. So I purchased another one. And I also have a, uh, another one by Clover that I don't use as often because I think it's just kind of big. Like the gauge itself is just wider. So... This is, e this is easy to use for smaller spaces that I need to cut, such as um, maybe hemlines or even trying to trace a seam allowance. I could use this for that purpose. So I did definitely need a new, um, a new um, seam gauge. So I was able to get this as a part of the buy three, get three free notion sale. Uh, just some beeswax. Um, I think I told you guys, or you may already know, that there are some things that you're not going to be able to sew with your machine that you may have to actually do a little bit of hand stitching. And I heard that beeswax works, works really well with trying to get the um, the thread through the needle. So I did get this to have in my stash of supplies. And I think I will need to do some hand stitching with my Sew It Academy project. I'm not sure. I need to go back and watch the video again to see if there's any, any place where I need to work on um, or do some hand stitching. So I did get this. It just makes the thread, you know, um, a little more stiff so I can go through the needle a little better. So yeah, I did get this. And then there was the thread sale. Um, again, these threads I just purchased because they match the liner fabric that I showed you earlier. Buy three, get uh, three free. So I got these three colors to match the liner. And you can never go wrong in having some white thread. So I purchased three white threads. 
um pin cushion <laughs> so i have a couple of the not this type but i have um i have three pin cushions two for your wrist and i think i have one smaller pin cushion um but i feel like i needed to get another um a bigger one to keep at my machine because I'm finding that I have a lot of pins in all of the ones I'm using now. And um, sometimes it's hard to really get the pins out because it's, it's getting a little full. So I did purchase a bigger one. I was looking for a magnetic one in Joann's and they did not have one in stock. Uh, I have one, but for some reason, the pins don't stick on it. I don't know what happened with that. I got it from Amazon. Um, and I got it some time ago, so I probably should have tried to use it and then returned it, but I didn't. So I have this magnetic pin holder that doesn't even work, but I got this one here. So it's a bigger one. I can just stick my pins in it and keep it moving. So I did get that. And finally, um, so I told myself, uh, last winter, that I wanted to start working on. I wanted to learn how to sew sequins. And um, I saw this remnant in Joann's and it's really pretty. It's just a silver sequin uh, remnant. I don't have any plans for this right now, but I do want to, before the holidays this year, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas come about, I want to be able to um, sew something using sequin. I just really like sequin. It, um, it's just something about it I like. It's just pretty. So I did get this. It's um, it's a little over a half a yard. Um, and I got it from Joann's. And it just says, um, do not iron. Of course, we know we don't want to iron sequin. My God. And then it says, um, hand wash it cold reshape like lay flat so just some basic care instructions on it which i appreciate so that's that so i'll be using this just to kind of uh test it and i think with sequin you actually have to take the sequin off before you sew on that that uh seam allowance which i know is going to be very time consuming because this sequin is so small look at how tiny that sequin is like that's going to be a lot of work, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. If I want to do it, I got to do it, right? If I want to learn it, I got to do it. So I have this stash here I'll work on later in the year. But that's what I purchased in terms of notions from the Joann sale. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to start putting my things away and um, working on my Sword Academy course. So I'm going to switch gears now and talk a little bit about some of the Butterick um, patterns I purchased. I'm very excited about these. Um, the one thing I think I heard, or I know I heard another YouTuber say with Butterick patterns is that Butterick, they don't give you finished garment measurements. That you really have to know your body measurements, which they have at the top of the envelopes. Um, some of these don't have at the top, but some of them do. And you have to go by that in order to know what um, which envelope to purchase because the envelopes are um, categorized. You purchase the envelope based on your size. So they may have like small, medium, large in one. Then they may have extra large and bigger sizes in another envelope. So you have to know what size you are in order to purchase the right envelope. Um, but anyway, they don't they don't have finished garment garment measurements on all of their envelopes so because of that i had to know what my um body measurements are which i had just taken my measurements not so long ago and they hadn't changed they had not changed so i was able to go in and get some um some nice patterns so i'll share those with you now so this um pattern here butterick 3860 is not a uh women's uh, pattern. It's a girl's pattern. Um, I got this for the dresses. I, at some point, will be making dresses for my girls, hopefully before the summer ends. 
I can get some dresses done for them, at least one. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got this here. And this is good because it has um, both of my girls' sizes on in this one envelope, um, 7 and 10 slash 12. So I'll take their measurements and just work off the pattern as it as it's designed in this packet here. Um, the next pattern I try to... I try to purchase all the patterns that were fast and easy because I am a beginner sewer. I so it's I don't want anything that's going to be stressful or anything that's gonna um make me <laughs> just you know annoyed. So I went ahead and purchased the ones that I knew were fast and easy. And again, most of these came by recommendation from Martika J Mix. So this here. Um, I purchased this because I think I like everything on here. I'm not a fan of, of view C, but I do like, uh, this is view D, B, and A. I do like those, um, just like a basic jumper. And the pattern here is B5652. Some nice views on here. And the line drawings in the back are very helpful as well. So the next pattern is B5655, another fast and easy. Um, every view I'm not a fan of. However, there are a couple of dresses I did like. I do like the this dress here. thought that was cute. And I do like this dress here. I think that's cute as well. So I'll be trying to get this done um, at some point. Don't know when, but at least I have the pattern. I got it on sale for $2. Can't beat it. Now, I did purchase two of these. I purchased two of these only because when I looked at the body measurements, I was in between sizes. So I'll need to see once I start to work on these, how I can um, combine the two patterns. I may have to do, use the larger size and then, um, yeah, the larger size and then grade in. I think that's the right term. I'm not sure, but I'll have to size it, you know, bring it down a size or two, maybe. I'm not sure. But I heard that these dresses have a lot of ease in them, meaning there's a lot of um, room. So they're going to be cut kind of big. So I'll just have to see which one works better for my sizing. Um, either way, I have them both. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just have a pattern that I didn't use and I can maybe at some point get better at it and, and do a dress for someone who needs the other size. We'll see. This uh, here is another uh, fast and easy from Butterick. It's $60.96. Just some basic tops. And they call this semi semi fitted pullover tops. They have princess seams, different sleeve variations, and a very narrow hem. Um, a shaped hemline for two of the views, and a shaped flounce for the other view. Um, I think view D is the one that has the flounce. Which one is view D? This one is here. I didn't really purchase for this. I purchased it more for view C and view B. Thought they'd be nice little, just a little knit top you can wear around the house or to the office once we go back to work um, and it's cooler outside maybe. I don't know, but I primarily got it for this and because it was fast and easy. So some stuff I can practice on. Uh, Butterick 6137, another fast and easy, um, mostly pant, a pant pattern. These are semi-fitted, they have elastic waistbands and pockets. So I haven't, um, well, you already know I haven't done any clothing yet, but, um, I do desperately want to get into making pants. For some reason, when I shop for pants, it's always hard to find the ones that fit me properly. So I think... I need to be working on some pants pretty soon and be able to master that so I can have my own pants. I don't have issues finding tops, shirts, blouses, sweaters, leggings. I don't have no problem working. I can find leggings pretty, pretty well, but when it comes to pants, I just, they don't always fit me properly. So learning how to make my own pants is going to be very, very beneficial. So that's the other pattern 
another fast and easy from buttery. So this here is not a fast and easy and I only got it because it was $1.99, but it's a dress. You know, I feel like you can never go wrong having a pattern, I guess, for a basic evening gown or a basic um, a formal event. Yes, I have never, I could not do this tomorrow. I probably won't be able to do this anytime soon but I have it in my stash now so when I am ready to sew and get to that level I can go ahead and put this together if I need it for a formal event um, again you know trying to buy dresses for formal events can be really really stressful yeah so having this in my stash and being able to put one together quickly very very great so yeah this is b6146 a butterick not fast and easy as you can see but again it's a basic you know formal dress um and it looks like it, sh it may not be that hard to put together i mean it gives you um the notions it's just an invisible zipper a one hook and eye and one decorative pin which is optional so um honestly once i really get good at this i could probably do this and it not be difficult invisible zipper i watched a few videos on that on how to install an invisible zipper I haven't done one yet but i have watched some videos on it and one hook and eye which that probably wouldn't be difficult either so it looks like it might be a pretty easy put together but at any rate i have it ready to go um, I've got some more patterns here. So, uh, B6, I'm sorry, B6207, nice little dress. I got it for this view here, this blue, thought that was cute. Um, this is, uh, just a top and skirt. I mean, I'm not a fan of this look, uh, but I do like this one here. So I can see myself making this. And if I decided to do a nightgown of some sort, I would probably do do this view here. This looks like a nightgown. I don't know if it's just the picture, if it's if it's the the um the fabric choice, the drawing, but this looks like a nightgown view B. So um, again, I got it for view C, and I could possibly do this in a nightgown type fabric. Uh, I don't see. Oh, it says fabric choices on the back jersey or French Terry, designed for lightweight, moderate stretch knit fabrics. So yeah, another fast and easy. B6215, fast and easy tops, loose fitting, comfortable, you know, pullover design. I love this high low here, this high low. I think that's really pretty. Um, I like the sleeve here, that's nice. Uh, and I even think I like view D. I like the straps on there. That's cute. Fast and easy. Romper, uh, capris, jumpsuit, fast and easy. B6224. Um, very loose fitting. Unlined kimono has mock bands. Um, oh, this is the kimono with the mock bands. And uh, what else is on here? Fabric choices, rayon, linen. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Looks like easy, fast from Butterick. Thinking about the fall early, I tend to do that. I tend to think ahead, sometimes maybe too far ahead. But at any rate, it works for me. Uh, and I got this here. Fast and easy. They call this um, this is an unlined an unlined coat with sleeve variations. There's a collar and a hood on some. Um, yeah, thought that was nice. I really like this here. That was cute. So a few more to go. Um, Butterick six four one six. Just some basic tops. 
can never go wrong. All right, basic tops here. Um, fabric choices, crepe, linen, chalice. I don't know if I pronounced that properly. C-H-A-L-L-I-S. Those are the fabric choices on here. Basic tunics. Can never go wrong, right? Some leggings. And the thing about it is if you find like a really nice fabric, you know, I mean, the choices and the variations that you can do here are just like, I don't know, just many, many. So, yeah. And um, another dress um, romper type jumpsuit, B6652, easy Mrs. Dresses, dress and jumpsuit, um, fabric recommendations here are your gauze, your chalice, that, that word again, <laughs> Um, your crepe, cotton blends, jersey. And I actually like all of these views. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would do a belt with it though. I just, the belt gives it a different, a different look. That's not really me. Um, but I do like the jumpsuit itself. I love this, 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 uh, asymmetrical design here, the length of the dress. And then I can do it again here with a strap on the top. Or I can just not have the strap and have just a shorter version of this here. So yeah, I thought that was nice. This one, surprisingly, is not a fast and easy. But I have seen very similar designs like this in a fast and easy. Uh, and I don't know what would make this not fast and easy. Uh, yeah, I don't see on the back here. Oh, maybe because it has the bias tape and elastic. I don't know, but it looks pretty simple. But of course, you know, we'll see. And then my last two, uh, Butterick, Butterick 6713. Again, not a fast and easy, but I do love this top. And I was, uh, this was one that Martika J Makes mentioned in her video, and she gave really good um idea she said you know this is a really nice shirt but imagine making this into a dress so imagine this here as a dress and when she said that the light bulb went out went off in my head and i'm like oh yeah that would be nice so i went ahead and i did get this again a dollar 99 two dollars um and i'll have it in my stash i mean i have a lot of patterns that i've i've purchased over time um and I purchased them all on sale. I don't ever go and buy any pattern at retail price because retail prices for these patterns are um, not retail, but you know, the regular price, the original price for these patterns are, are really, really out, up there. So whenever you can get them on sale, I do get them on sale. And not to mention, a lot of times the patterns go out of stock. So if you see a pattern that you really like, you can catch it on sale, just grab it because I've seen some some other YouTubers that have had really nice patterns and I've um, tried to find them or when they say that they're no longer in stock, it's like, oh, now I got to find something that might resemble that and sometimes it's not as easy. So yeah, definitely if you, you know, within your budget, if you have a pattern that you want to purchase and it's on sale, get it while it's on sale because you'll always have it and i've also learned or well, i've heard that if you trace your patterns you'll have them a lot longer so instead of just going ahead and cutting the tissue you can trace the pattern onto tissue paper and that way you are preserving your original tissue pattern for use again and again and again so i plan to do that with, with my patterns as i start out and then the last one is not a fast and easy, but I do like, I love dusters. I like kimonos, I love dusters. So I got this and this duster drew my attention, but these other, these other, um, these other um, designs and variations that come in here, you know, while, I mean, I don't know that I'll be like, 
rushing to make the other ones but I feel like they're nice to have um I like this here I'm not sure what view this is but this little jacket I'm not sure you can see it I thought that was really really cute even the fabric choice there is cute that metallic silver that's really nice but I did purchase it primarily for this this view here this kimono um this jacket here isn't that bad I think this is view a because e if you see here e of the pants so a is this jacket here that might not even be a bad um a bad make just depending on what fabric I use and I'm trying to see what the fabric um they recommend brocade sateen jacquard jacquard crepe linen uh georgette lace jersey um and crepe again so i'm not sure maybe the linen the i don't know i don't know but at any rate that's this here and this is b6802 from butterick b6802 from butterick so there you have it that is my butterick pattern haul and you have my buys from joanne fabrics um from their uh um sale the buy three notions get three free i purchased my sequin um remnant that i'll have for later in the year i'll do some practice on that and i have everything i need to keep my so it academy project moving along so i want to thank you all for tuning in again special thanks to martika j mix for some of her butterick pattern recommendations and another special thanks to rochelle handmade designs for announcing the butterick sale on her um, ig i look forward to seeing all of her ig posts whenever i hear about a, a particular sale i try to um first up a couple of dollars try to you know get there to get a sale i think i missed the last simplicity sale that um i think it was simplicity or mccall's simplicity maybe i missed that sale and that's fine I, i've got several simplicity patterns and i know that they'll have another sale sometime soon so even if i can't catch a sale that's coming up i know that these sales happen throughout the year so i'm i'm just have to keep my eyes and ears open for when they have the sales and go in there and try to get some patterns um, i do keep a list uh, um catalog of the patterns i purchase on an excel spreadsheet and sometime later in the future i'll show you all how i manage my um, patterns that way i'm not purchasing the same things over and over again um it's it's a process it's time consuming but it works for me so i'm not you know, waste the money and, and purchasing fabrics. I mean, purchasing patterns that I don't actually need. So this is everything from Joann's. And if you like this video today, please um, like it. Uh, subscribe to my video if you haven't already done so. I'm sorry, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And until next time, God bless and I'll see y'all later. Bye.